welcome back to another coding series video. So, this will be a brand new series in which I will code, try to code, a word search program in Java. So this will be a multi-part series since this is a challenge that I have never done and I just came up with this challenge. And so, anyways, this is part one. Enjoy. So this class, I will make this class is called Word Search and it will contain the puzzle grid of letters. So let's do it. So I'm going to create a class called word search and it will just contain, like I said, the grid, the puzzle itself, like the grid of letters in which you, which, which has random letters and then there will be hidden words lying inside the grid, just like any other word search that you see in newspapers, in ordinary newspapers, you see them in a lot next to Sudoku's and just like classic word searching. So. First goal is to try to is to try to generate a grid of random letters. Let's try that. Constructor. gonna write a little note about what I'm trying to do. This one is just to generate a random grid of letters and printing them afterwards. Well, printing will be another method. So this attribute contains a 2D array of characters. It's the first time I make a video on, on uh, myself working with 2D arrays. And so this is just of characters. 2D array of characters. 2D array of characters. And in this constructor, I'll make a, f I'll put in a for loop. So what I'll do is to I'll import random Oops. create a random class, random random object random object. Love to name it RNG like a like as always for random number generator. Don't ask me why. You ask. Don't ask me why I love to create ran this as random number generator. But this is just to variable an object of class random to generate random numbers. Be random. 
and now I'll do the for loop, the for loop. Within the for loop, I'll do another loop. So to sign up all the sub so all, all of the character values in this, each of the sub arrays. to loop all of these all of the values in one subarray meaning the array within the array because it's a two day array I have to loop all of the arrays in the outer array and loop inside the inner loop I'll loop all of the values in the inner arrays G plus plus Inside loop, I will create. I will create. Wait now, assign it. Dot i. Dot j. At position i and j. And now here. I have to put a random character here I want to I mean I want to input a random character for that position and what I'll do is that I'll put assign it to a the character a and shift it by uh, a random add a random shift so that will shift the character value to uh, cast it so so that it works it's so it won't be converted to integer so I'll have to go back to character that's why I cast it it's hard to explain how casting works but it's basically converting from another data from a data type to another data type and rng next it at 25 all 26 letters and I think I got my constructor coded and now what I'll do is that I will get the program to print to print a uh, the grid itself so I'll have to do a two string I'll have to override a two string method what I'll do is that I will test the program afterwards just to see that I could create the grid of letters because what I want to do in the first step is to not code the full cross the word search right away but get the program to print a grid of letters and randomly assigning to random letters and printing that so just to get that step done And I'll, I'll have to put in another for loop just to print it out. Create a string, string, string representation. Leave it empty to assign when I initialize that. P 
because I'll have to return that afterwards. So I'll just, to not forget, I'll put a return statement. Because I'll always, I tend to always forget writing my return methods, and that probably cost me a couple of marks in my tests. So always write your return method because this method promises to return string. So I'll keep the for loop, the for loops the same. And the only thing I'll do is to append. The only thing I'll do is to append this string rep, adding the next value of the next letter, and then the next character letter inside print eventually printing all of the letters in the letter grid. And to make to make that to make the program print space in between I'm gonna print it print a space a space so that it'll be reader friendly plus adding a space and then after every line after every line of letters because each subarray of the 2d array is a line I would like to print a new line so that after every iteration of the outer loop, I will add a new line. And what I'll do is I'll print a new line. Use my handy escape key. New line. Okay. New line. Now, as I've wrote, written some of my methods, I'm going to try to go to my I'll go to my application class to print my and get my program to print the object of word search. Now, I'm going to go to this class, and this class will have my main method, which will run my program. And now, I will do is to create an object of type word search. If you know what, if to recap, objects are just like examples of instances of a class. So like a class word search and have an and So like a class is like a blueprint and of word search, for example. If I have a class called word search, it's like a blueprint of word search. And I could create examples, instances of the class, or objects, and I'll create one right now, word search, word, grid, yeah, I'll just call it word puzzle, because I'll just name it as an instance, so that I won't get confused, because new word search, Using my constructor, and I'll print my. I will print my word search. And what I'll do is sys out print line word puzzle. Printing the object. I hope it works because at once I call this out. This will just use the two string method I overwritten. So let's do it. Let's test it. Let's see if it works. Okay, so now I'll do it right now.
I have printed a full grid, 25, right, 20 by 20 grid of letters of the word search. This is cool. This is amazing. And so, yeah. I guess since I've done one step, I think it's time to close off this video for now and leave the other parts, tackle the other parts in future videos. Since I've made a video, my last video was really long, I want to make the next videos a multi-part series. So this video is one part, the next part will be a continuation of that, so stay tuned. And yeah. So please subscribe if, if you have are not re if you aren't re subscribed and like this video if you're looking forward to my next part in the next part i will try to proceed with my new grid and creating the actual words and hiding them in the grid